जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण I pay my obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Mat Jagat Guru Sudarshan Acharya Ji Maharaj. I pay my obeisances to Lord Sri Ramanuj. I pay my obeisances to our Purva Acharyas. I pay my obeisances to the twelve Alvars. I pay my obeisances to Mother Lakshmi, and I pay my obeisances to Lord Sri Manaran. I welcome all of you. We are physically at the Sri Narayan Dam in Durban, South Africa. I welcome those that are watching this discourse locally, nationally, and internationally, and I welcome in advance those that are going to be watching this discourse when it is posted on YouTube and the various groups from around the world subsequently. I can still hear an echo. we continue our topic on oneness and from time to time the subject and substance of the topic enlivens itself to various means and today we were rewarded with a comment from one mark perumal on one of dr julie chetty's post where whereby i blessed her in the comment and hoped that she will be successful in her future endeavors so on this topic our main topic on oneness i go back to the adi guru of sanatan dharma so i start from the adi guru of sanatan dharma in this period of our existence which is just about a thousand years ago adi means adi means first so the first bona fide spiritual master of sanatan dharma in this current creation this current kali yug is lord shri ramanuj he is the adi guru of the entire sanatan dharma the first guru a thousand years ago to bring and realign and interface sanatan dharma and the vedas and that was done a thousand years ago by lord shri ramanuj which makes him the first guru of our current existence in sanatan dharma first guru in our current existence in sanatan dharma and lord shri ramanuj is the adi guru currently of sanatan dharma his teachings continue to pulsate the spiritual consciousness within this universe as he initiated it a thousand years ago its continuance have not stopped 1000 years of 100% sanatan dharma which people colloquially call hinduism this pulse 
of Sanatan Dharma has not stopped beating in the past thousand years. Lord Sri Ramanuj is the first social integrator and currently the greatest of all times of our current existence. What does social integrator mean? Jessica? Into a societal pool with an equal I. So currently at this moment Currently, at this moment, in Hyderabad, South India, the second largest sitting statue in the world, the Statue of Equality, is being inaugurated, which will be inaugurated in February 2022, officially. What does Statue of Equality mean? Again, Jessica, I see you did a lot of research on Lord Sri Ramanuj. All people. Equality will mean all people. Equality won't mean Hindu or Sanatan Dharmis. It will mean all humankind. That statue and that ashram that's built at a cost of billions of rupees. is to showcase that L Lord Sri Ramanuj was and continues to be the greatest social integrator a thousand years ago and even today. His social integrating principles are being expounded for the past eight years year at the Sri Narayan Dham and from here it is permeating the entire universe. It's also been expounded in all the Sri Sampradaya ashrams around the world. Lord Sri Ramanuj's consciousness sits in every Ramanujan. Lord Sri Ramanuja's consciousness sits in every Ramanujan around the world. Who is a Ramanujan? Who is a devotee of the Supreme? Lord. Who is a devotee of the Supreme? Lord. So this institution, the Sri Narayan Dham, is not an individual institution expounding its own spiritual understanding. This expounding or lectures or discourses has been promulgated through the direct and real teachings of Lord Sri Ramanuj in his lifetime, in his 120 years of his Lifetimes. Whatever is stated here at the Sri Narayan Dham is exactly what Lord Sri Ramanuj taught his 74 disciples a thousand years ago. This is a portion of his teaching 
and I hope in my lifetime to expound all his teaching in English with the most basic understanding throughout this planet Earth. And I also hope to entrench his teachings of equality and social integration into the hearts of every human being. This is the intention and this is the reason that Sri Narayan Dham took its birth. To entrench equality and social integration. Equality means we don't see your skin color, we don't see your religion, we only see an identical soul. That is equality. Social integration means we bring Muslims, Hindus, Christians, blacks, whites, coloreds, Indians into one social dimension and understanding. In the pursuance of this, there will always be obstacles. In the pursuance of this, there will always be obstacles. Remember, when we met Julie Chetty, she was a bishop. No, she was a pastor. She was a pastor and she was attacked from Australia by another pastor. Was he a pastor? Krish Naidu. She was attacked by another pastor because we are social integrators and because equality has been entrenched into the pulse of this guru. I did not scroll past the insult on Pastor Julie Chetty. We did not know her. We never heard of her. And we did not have any background knowledge of her. When a pastor desecrated another pastor, we at the Sri Narayan Dham felt her pain and her anguish against a demonic attack from her own religion. From her own religion. Without any further ado, we went on social media and we defended her without knowing her. A week after we defended her, then we met her. And two weeks later, we picked her up and we brought her to this ashram. And we asked her to explain Christianity. We asked her to explain the religion of Christianity to our Sanatan Dharma devotees. Yes or no? All this is on record. All this is on record. So this ashram intervened in a Christian in Christian situation and we saw the demonic side of that pastor from Australia and we brought him down to his knees. Today he is not seen or known anywhere. This ashram, this ashram, the Sri Narayan Dham, made this de demon who was masquerading as a pastor in Christianity, we made him disappear. We made him disappear. Pastor Julie, immediately a week later, became a bishop. And a few months later, she achieved her doctorate in divinity. She achieved her doctorate in 
divinity. So I blessed her on one of her posts and a certain Mark Perumal, I want to read his comments to you. I just have a few percent on my phone. I think he entered my phone and he's trying to eat up my battery life. So I can't attack him, that is why. I have Okay, so two days ago, I commented on Dr. Julie Chetty's post, May you be blessed and successful in all you do. And then here we get this Mark Perumal. He says, Acharya Sham Ramanuj, shame on you, comma, you are a disgrace. You want her to be successful on converting people, full stop. You are a disgusting man, full stop. Why don't you become a Christian too, full stop. Go bow to that blue-eyed, comma, blonde, white boy, full stop. This is real culture, real peace. And then, this was six hours ago. And then again six hours ago, Acharya Sham Ramanuj, you call yourself a guru, you are a fake. Okay? So let's analyze, Satishbhai. I can see your fingers going into a throttling position, Satishbhai. But let's do this in another way. Let's do this in another way. Let's understand this spiritually. Let us unpack his character. Let us unpack his character. So Pastor Julie or Dr. Julie Chetty, she is on Facebook. Her profile is there. Her dress is there, her designation is there, and her work in society is there, is it not? So he would have seen all of this. She is also a female, and a female doing God's work, also taking care of her children and her husband, is, is a big step, yes or no? Number one, she is a female, she has children, she has a profile on Facebook. Then let's look at Mark Perumal. He is a male. He don't have a whole lot of information on his profile. There's no phone number, no email address, not even a photograph. What type of people hide themselves? There's only two types of people, divine and demonic. There's no other type of people. Two types, divine, demonic. When you are secretive, when you hide things, when you duck things, when you can say things but don't put your photo and your face to what you said. What type of a person are you? What type are your parents? What type is your grandparents? What culture you grew up in? What tradition you grew up in? What did your grandparents teach you? What did your parents teach you? Are you understanding? From what culture and tradition? 
because you you are given the perception that you are a hindu or a sanatan dharmic male that's a perception you giving in this comment that's a perception you giving all right you have become the protector of sanatan dharma self proclaimed protector of sanatan dharma but in sanatan dharma there are various disciplines there are various disciplines and various <coughs> scriptures if you learned sanatan dharma which is your own religion and if you spend time learning your own religion julie chetty dr julie chetty won't upset you by you attacking dr julie chetty and the guru it means you are deficient in understanding sanatan dharma because the relationship between dr julie chetty and acharya sham ramanuj is the substratum of sanatan dharma itself so you cannot call yourself a hindu if you are attacking these two personalities if you are not divine this is divinity the relationship between pastor julie or dr julie chetty and acharya sham ramanuj the the relationship between the shri narayan dam and the church of transfer mission the church for transformation is a divine relationship it's proving its divinity through this relationship and if you scrolled both through shri narayan dam and seen the substantive nature of shri narayan dam and the work the substantive work that the shri narayan dam has executed since its inception and if you scrolled and if you saw the substantive work that dr julie chetty have done in her life then you have to only be a demon to be critical you have to only be a demon to be critical then you cannot be human to have made these comments so your mark peromal your status in this society has to be that even lower than an animal even lower than an animal because only an animal will make these statements unprovoked un provoked we don't know him neither dr julie chetty no acharya sham ramanuj knows this man for this man to come specifically on this post from nowhere means he came from a very very dark and a back black background means his parents did not teach him manners means his parents did not teach him manners because it is very very disrespectful to go on somebody else's page and make a negative comment it means your parents didn't teach you manners it means your parents did not teach you manners if you're a hindu or if you purport yourself to be a hindu and if you call a guru a fake especially 
this guru whom you have capacity to scroll backwards and see since our inception who we are then you also cannot be a sanatan dharmi because if you are a sanatan dharmi then your parents would have taught you mata pita gurudev your parents would have taught you that your parents did not teach you and by you coming and making this comment you exposing your self and your lineage you exposing yourself and your lineage yes or no if you had a problem with my post there is a respectable way of doing it we have a private section on facebook called messenger called messenger you go on messenger and you say guru by you associating with christians you are making me uncomfortable can you explain your stance that would come from respectable parentage and grandparentage his grandparents would have taught his parents to be respectable his parents should have taught him to be respectable because in sanatan dharma we don't look at race and we don't look at religion we don't look at race and we don't look at religion we look at humanity we look at humanity and it is this humanity that is the fuel of divinity yes or no so can you understand in what a deep and a dark place this mark perumal is in his type of people his character of people has brought religious wars on the surface of this earth yes or no what is he doing is he not igniting rivalry between sanatan dharma and christianity is he not a hater is he not a hater Jessica find this man find him and we'll charge him find him we'll take him to court and we'll charge him and we'll have him locked up we we are on cases of this nature we are on cases of this nature yes now look at how ignorant him and his lineage i'm bringing his lineage in because a product is a product is a by product of that type of thinking you understand so tutsi let's understand lord jesus christ so he said i'm bowing down to a blue eyed white blond boy blue eyed white blond boy who is lord jesus christ again let's see his level of education and understanding this is the guy that was going behind the or past the school jessica this would be the guy that was going past the school because we have to find out who lord Jesus Christ is and what his features would have been from which part of earth does lord jesus christ come which part of this earth to say where is where is bethlehem which part is it europe is it africa 
is it asia or is it middle east middle middle east, middle east. what color are the people of middle east brown what color eyes that brown skin people have brown so straight away his demonic perception has created a different jesus christ for him a eh? different jesus christ his jesus christ has blue eyes fair skin and blonde hair the real jesus christ was brown skinned brown eyed and black hair with a black beard because he is from the middle east he is from the middle east that is the complexion that is the eye color 2000 years ago it would have been the same because the sun and the earth has not changed its positions so i'm setting a precedent here i've said this earlier on that when i'm long gone i see i'm being recorded by two two cameras all right so guaranteed this discourse will be in the universe it's not going to go satisfied whoever takes the lead in shri narayan dham whoever takes the lead in shri narayan dham don't allow demons to attack you anywhere and say don't worry god will show him god will show him nothing god will show him nothing that is why you are here why you are here so you must show him and that is why i am showing him i just read this a few hours ago it didn't take me long to show him amita in a few hours time this discourse must be posted with this comment he must find there must be no hole on this planet earth for him to hide in there must be no hole on this planet earth for him to burrow himself in okay and this is a precedent that we are setting if you are a devotee of god to say don't let anyone or anything come in your way you must be like a bulldozer you must be like a bulldozer because god will give you the power to make that person thinner than a sheet of paper that has been rolled over you are you having the mental picture of mark perumal on a flat ground and a big steam roller <laughs> went over him shanti you get in that picture the bhagavad gita is quite explicit bhagavad gita is quite explicit mahatma gandhi gave the wrong concept of sanatan dharma mahatma gandhi gave the wrong concept of sanatan dharma and in giving that wrong concept of sanatan dharma he has caused the greatest upheaval in india he gave away one third of india now they want the whole of india five days or four days ago they trapped narendra modi 20 kilometers from the pakistan border you understand he could have been assassinated narendra modi is needed in india because he is bringing the sanatan dharma civilization back in india he is bringing 
the Sanatan Dharma civilization back in India. All these other prime ministers before him sold India. They were communist. They were communist. India is the only place where Sanatan Dharma has a home. If you take India and give it to Pakistan, where will the practitioners of Sanatan Dharma call home? Which part of this earth will the practitioners of Sanatan Dharma call home? All of you understand? And this is because of Mahatma Gandhi. He misinterpreted the Bhagavad Gita. And he also did a commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. But in the Bhagavad Gita itself, what does Lord Sri Krishna teach? And I laid the demons. And I laid the demons. Kill the demons, even if they belong to your own family, even if they are your gurus, if you have demonic gurus, kill them. Yes or no? That is the battle of Kuruksetra. Kill the demons. In a more subtle sense today, 2022, we use social media and drown the demons. We drown them. Sri Narayan Dham has come under many, many attacks, Jessica, since inception, from the time I started this satsang. Demons always find their way in. And when they expose themselves, I come on this platform and I reveal their demonic traits. I reveal their demonic traits. You think I'm doing this from my own nature or you think I will follow a precedent set before me? I will follow a precedent set before me. So Lord Sri Krishna, when he was accused of being a thief, when he was accused of being a thief, in the same village where he was accused of being a thief, he called all the villagers together and he proved his innocence. So my village is social media. In that village where an adverse comment has been made about me, I'm using the same precedent, but only thing now I'm in a global village. I'm in a global village. I'm called on the same global village and I am proving my innocence and the innocence of the Sri Narayan Dham. You think this type of rebuttal is positive for our society or negative for our society? Because we all need to get up. For too long, we have been taught that the other is bad. Jessica, for too long, we have been taught that the other is bad. Who do you blame? For majority of the conversions, and there are conversions in India right now that's happening both by Muslims and both by Christians. Who do you blame?
Yes, because the Hindus are not teaching the Hindus properly. That's number one. Number two is this caste system. You are, if you are of the lowest caste in a specific religion, and another religion come and tell you, listen, if you join us, you are equal. Would you not leave that religious system where you are oppressed and suppressed and come to another system where there is no oppression or suppression, there's only freedom. And Sri Narendra Modi is addressing this situation now. The former government persisted in retaining the caste system. And the entire government and the machinery and the administration of India was run by the Latian system. You know what the Latian system means? All those people who went to the same university, got qualified in a university, they ran India. They ran India, both media and in all the government divisions and in all the divisions of India, they kept the Dalits, they the lowest, they perceived to be the lowest caste, they kept them suppressed. So do you blame those Hindus who were suppressed their entire life, who were fourth class citizens in their own country? Do you blame them for converting and becoming equal in another religion? This is what happened earlier on when, when after the advent of Islam, there were Muslim traders that were traveling from, from the Middle East to India. They were Muslim traders. These laborers on the Indian side would be who, Satish Bhai? These people packing the ship, unpacking the ship, cleaning the ship from the Indian side carrying the loads on the shoulder will be who? The lowest caste. If these Muslim traders told them, listen, why don't you convert to Islam and become equal? There'll be no difference between me, the businessman, and you, the labor force. Would you not instantaneously relinquish your religion and become a Muslim? And the same goes to Christianity. There was trade between the West and India. You, you understanding? So 50% of the problem of conversion is brought about by Sanatan Dharma itself. And the other 50% is coerced conversions. You understand? Coerced conversion. So we have to look at conversion in its context. We have to look at it in its context. And earlier on in life, before social media, we should get our knocks on the doors, especially by a group called Jehovah's Witness. To see you from that group? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I remember my last interaction with the Jehovah's Witness. I was living in Munro Drive and I had a driveway exactly like this, but opposite. To come to me, you must come up. Yeah, to come to me, you have to come down. So they came up, three of them. And we had a discussion, a frank and a decent discussion. He convinced me and I convinced him. He convinced me, I convinced him. She convinced me, I convinced her. Until he said, and I was so proud that he said it, that he agreed and he gave this example. He said initially there was one scripture. 
and every community took a page. Initially there was one scripture and every community took a page and this is where we are today. What a great thing to say. What a great thing to say. But there was a lot of, I think about two hours of, all right. So there was no, he did not come to force. They were selling their books and there's no difference in them selling the books and ISKCON selling the books. To see, have you been confronted by ISKCON people there, Hare Krishna, 100 rand, take a book. <laughs> Jessica, you understand what I'm saying? You know, we can't have double standards, that is why. You trying to sell your books, they trying to sell the books. Is a good thing to see because when you found a God of your understanding, that reservoir of God cannot be contained in you. And you want to give that beauty, that divinity, that blissfulness, you want to give it to the whole world. It means you really achieved God. Those people who want to take God and spread him around the world, it means those people really achieved God. So if you go in from house to house, it doesn't matter whose house, and you say, this is God. Is there anything wrong you're doing? No. You want that person to be as happy as you are. And you go like a beggar, beg from door to door. There's a book. Read it. It might help you. And I beg here every Sunday from 11 to 12. I beg around the world. I'm the biggest beggar around the world. I beg on the social media platform. Please mend your ways, people of the world. There is a beautiful divine God. Tune in to this channel just for one hour and see how blissful your life becomes. What's the difference between me and that Jehovah Witness, Jessica? Same thing. Same thing. Does it matter who comes to your door? Does it matter if somebody tries to convince you that God is great? Does it matter from which direction you find God to say? Whether you find him in a church, whether you find him in a mosque, whether you find him in an ashram, the important thing is you found him. It's more important that you have found him. So the precedent we set here at the Sri Narayan Dham will be always satisfied when the Guru is gone. What you must do if somebody attack us? Yeah, not with the fingers. I felt your thumb and your forefinger <laughs> in a throttle position, you know. Not, not in that way, that is why. In the way that the Guru is doing. Bring the truth and lay it on the table. But be scathing because you can go a few generations back to cover his behavior. You understand? And that's where Mark Perumal is not going to like it. You understand? And we wish to hear, we hope Mark Perumal can rehabilitate his mind. You know, Tutsi, there are millions and billions of Mark Perumals. This discourse is aimed at a particular Mark Perumal, but it also goes out to all those haters. It goes down to all those haters. If you hate another human being based on his religion, you are a very, very sick person. You are very, very sick. And this greatness we learned from Lord Sri Ramanuj. What he states? Respect all, worship your own. Respect all, worship your own. No saint 
or sage has uttered these two sentences ever and this is why i'm saying lord shri ramanuj is the greatest integrator of all times look at how peaceful his teachings are and how simple only in two sentences respect all worship your own so a muslim respects all and worships his own if a christian respects all and worship his own if a hindu respects all and worship his own if a jew respects all and worship his own where is there religious disharmony jessica don't you think lord shri ramanuj formula although in two sentences speaks volume to say you we, we can't even we can't even try to decipher these two sentences respect all worship your own so don't decipher it practice it don't decipher it practice it and then again lastly for mark perumal the foremost scripture of sanatan dharma where you purport to come from is the rig veda and the foremost instruction in the rig veda is the world is one diverse family and this is why i'm saying he didn't come from a good culture cultural parentage and grand parentage background because if they knew the rig veda and if they taught it to his parents and his parents taught it to him then he would have understood that everyone in this universe is one diverse family i got my two sons here today if i make them stand next to each other and if i didn't tell you they are my two sons and if you send the photograph around the world would anyone guess they are my two sons look at that diversity in the guru's own two sons only in the looks you understand will you say which religion they come from will you be able to pin them down but they come from one mother and one father but look at the diversity and you all have children like this yes or no each one of them will have a character of their own their character will belong to them but they belong to the same parents same mother same father similarly whether you christian whether you muslim whether you are a jew whether you hindu spiritual identification is the same your spiritual dna is the same only your material dna is different and we need we need to come back to this reality and we need to start living like this and this ashram has shown a heightened atmosphere when we had all the different religions and races here this ashram is the test tube of this scientific experiment by bringing all the religions together at one point and bringing all the races at one point and sitting and having a meal this ashram has done this in 2021 over 20 times over 20 times and that feeling was of absolute greatness we felt empowered that empowered feeling is the grace of the supreme lord that empowered and we proved it we were the scientific experiment we proved it can happen even those people that landed here they were shocked that they landed here and that this experiment went on successfully they said it in their speeches 
which means that when you do a scientific experiment and it results positively hemita what must you do with the result what you must do accept yeah after you accept the result it y- yielded positively what you do with the product you sell it around the world you invent a new soap the soap is working tivashne what you must do to that soap keep it to yourself in your pocket or sell it why you sell it because it is a positive product it works well and that what we created the product of oneness at the shri narayan dham we will continue to sell no mark perumal is big enough to stop the onward march of oneness of the shri narayan dham why satisfied no because we powered by the lord him sir yes yes he will never no mark perumal will ever be able to stop us okay and i'm expecting many mark perumals this mark perumal is from hinduism we going to get mark perumals from christianity from islam those that see us bridging a loving relationship if any man that breaks a loving relationship between two people what type of man he is that means he's a destroyer that means he gets his happiness in destruction what entity gets happiness in destruction the demons no divine person will get happiness in destroying a relationship and if we have started a loving relationship with lord jesus christ if we have started a loving relationship with prophet muhammad and allah and if anybody is going to try and break that relationship then he has to be satan of sanatan dharma he has to be the demon of sanatan dharma and satan of the abrahamic religions yes or no so coming back to conclude as per the scriptures of sanatan dharma we are in the winter of our lives as per creation creation has four seasons creation has four seasons a season of of absolute divinity of absolute divinity there mark perumal can't exist that season is called satyug or the period of purity in that period everyone loves each other and there is only one religion the religion of humanity the religion of humanity then there comes a period where sin is injected in the atmosphere and it starts in treta yog where 25% of sin is computed in the universal atmosphere then comes dwapara yog where 50% of sin is computed in the material atmosphere and we are in the last season called kaliyog where 75% of sin is computed in our atmosphere and you are experiencing this sinful people live within our own family we give birth to sinful children we or the children are divine and the parents are sinful our siblings our brothers and sisters become sinful some are divine and some are non divine this mixture 
of divinity and non-divinity will be 3 to 1. The percentage will always be 3 to 1. When you meet a friend, there's a 75% that that person is here to do you down. When you marry someone, there is a 75% that that person you married satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> is to do you down. That is why they say in Sanatan Dharma the word divorce don't exist there. Because you already know the percentage when you marry. Satisfy? Before you take your seven oaths you already know. Hey. <laughs> All right? All of you understand? So every deal you do in this world today, you only got a 25% chance of success. That has already been computed. That has already been computed. But there is a way out. Go to the synagogue where there is con congregational chanting Wherever there is congregational chanting, go to church, go to mosque, go to ashram. You understand? Wherever there is a congregation, God enters the congregation himself. If there are hundred people at the congregation, your spiritual enrichment each one of you will receive a hundred times more than when you sit at home and pray for yourself. If there is 500 people at that congregation, you will receive 500 times the grace of God than if you sit at home and pray for yourself. Do you understand? Because the congregational consciousness if we have 30 people here today, then each of you is graced 30 times. Each of you is graced 30 times. You understand? Is it scientific? Don't you feel the power in an ashram, in a church, in a mosque, in a synagogue? Isn't these powerful places where many people are calling the Lord and the Lord is Omni? Omni? Yes. He can present himself in a church, in an ashram, in a mosque, in a synagogue simultaneously. Can he not? So where is Mr. Mark Perumal? He is alone. He is alone. I hope after he hears this discourse he comes on our messenger and becomes a devotee of the Supreme Lord. This is our hope and wish. Jai Shri Narayan.